Jigs is a resilient and passionate music artist whose journey from a troubled childhood through personal struggles and into the music industry showcases his unwavering dedication to using music as a positive outlet and a means to inspire and help others. And he's on the line with us here just now. How are you today? Good, man. Good. Just can't figure out this uh, this Zoom stuff. Yeah. Well, can you tell us a bit about your own personal journey and how you how your experiences really shaped you as a person and made you into the artist that you are? So I kind of had a uh, I kind of had a troubled youth. So I got into some trouble and uh, I kind of went through some stuff. And it just kind of, I, I always used music as an outlet. It just always worked for me. I just always found myself writing stuff down. And then uh, then I went from that to kind of like uh, poetry. And then after the poetry, I kind of tried to put it to music and then eventually did that. And then that's kind of where the whole music thing started. Yeah. And how did music become such a coping, coping mechanism for you? I think it was a way to like express myself in like a positive way, you know. Yeah. Like in my city, there's not much to do, so for a kid, it's like going out and getting trouble is kind of like the thing to do, you know. And uh, when I was writing, I was writing so much and got so into it that I would pretty much stay inside and be writing music instead of partying and going to do you know stupid stuff that would have got me in more trouble. Yeah. And that's not to say that you haven't d- done um, some stupid stuff, some could argue. So how have uh, all your experiences kind of influenced your music and your approach to life generally? Say again, sorry. Yeah, how have like your experiences, um, you know, spending time in jail and encounters with the law influenced your music and approach to life generally? Um, I think, uh, as of recently, it's changed for the better. Uh, my music has changed for the better just cause I've changed for the better, you know, Yeah. kind of when I was living that life, uh, you know, just being negative and getting in trouble and, you know, always just kind of being impulsive and doing stupid things, you know, that kind of, uh, you know, just kind of, uh, it, it put me in a better spot now to write better music where I can actually help other people. You know, instead of I feel like I, I, there was no substance to my music before. There was no it was just like me saying stuff. You know, now I'm actually talking about my real life experiences in a positive way. And I'm trying to help other people the way music helped me. You know? Yeah, absolutely. And in your present life, you own your own business, uh, among other accomplishments. So how do you balance your artistic pursuits with your responsibilities as a business owner and everything that you do now uh to be honest it's pretty stressful i uh it's not easy you know it's Mm. not easy because music's not totally paying the bills i mean i'm making money but i'm it's not totally paying the bills you know so my other business pretty much covers me there which does allow me um you know i make good money so and i work for myself so it does allow me to use that money for my music and it also allows me to have the time to be able to you know actually focus and and get in the zone and and come out with something that i'm actually proud of and that i'd want to release you know yeah and what role do your family and achievements play in your current creative process uh you know i've uh I've never really had support when with that, honestly. Mm. Yeah, I, I kind of just, uh, yeah, I never really had support with that, you know. With my parents growing up, it was kind of like, you live in a pipe dream, get a job. Yeah. And uh, they never really supported me, you know what I mean? And they'd hate to hear that, but that's the truth, you know. And I just, yeah, it's it's just, uh, it used to bother me and stuff like that because I used to reach for their uh, acceptance in a way, you know. I used to, like, look for that. But then I got to a certain point where I realized it's just, you know, it's a journey's about me. Uh, the journey's about me, and I and I always believed in me. So that's all I really got to focus on. Yeah. Um, and do your, <clears throat> do your parents support you now? I mean, they see the recognition that I'm getting. Uh, so, you know, they're, I think they're probably kind of proud because, you know, they see that I've kind of done something with it over time and I didn't give up and, and uh, stuff like that. But... You know, not really any support, but honestly, I don't really need it. You know, mm. I, uh, I'm pretty, I'm, with the stuff that I've had to go through by myself, you know, I, I kind of am okay on my own and just kind of pushing through and just trying to stay focused and uh, just always have that end goal and just day by day try to push towards it, you know. Yeah, absolutely. 
And beyond music, you've also delved into independent filmmaking. So what was it that inspired you to explore that medium? So I've always been into like movies and TV shows and stuff. Like when I was younger growing up, I was just so intrigued by the movie making process, you know, like (laughs) every Every film I've ever seen, I wanted to, I was so interested on behind the scenes, you know? Like, I'd be watching the movie and just picturing what it looks like on the other side of the camera. I've just always had a, I've always had just an interest in that. And then uh, when I was young, young, I used to, like, me and my friends would just make our own little films, like action films or whatever, you know? Uh, We didn't have any equipment. All we had was, like, one of the old camcorders that put the whole VHS in the the camcorder. So, no editing, nothing like that. Like that but it was uh it was kind of getting my feet wet and getting the ball rolling because i was just so into it that i was just like you know what you gotta start somewhere you know so we just started doing that and then in high school they had a program that i took for two years that was called media and it was through our vocational program uh and it was it was pretty good it taught me i mean i was doing audio recording in there we had a studio i was doing editing we were making short films we had a tv show i learned everything to do with the movie side of everything and then uh and i got some experience acting and stuff like that i mean i still don't consider it easy to make it believable i still doubt myself yeah with the whole acting thing you know but i other people that are you know do it all the time tell me that i'm i'm really good at it so i guess i'll take that word for it (laughs) yeah and are there any specific themes or stories that you aim to convey through film that may differ from what you convey in your music yeah i mean i mean i'm a tatted up you know i look like a criminal honestly so mm. it uh but i i really to kind of even if they had to cover them up like my tattoos on my hands and my in my throat and stuff i'd love to get more experience doing like more drama you know more like more lines more actual acting and just play different roles you know like different different things from me because i can play me i mean yeah. give me a gun and i can make it believable that i'm a gangster cartel or whatever you know what i mean i i always play those parts but it'd be nice to kind of expand you know a little bit and kind of uh prove to myself but like you know kind of like see you know i'm kind of interested in like how good i could really do you know kind of push myself in that way yeah absolutely and you've got your latest single out which is called Sophia so what's the story behind the song so a good friend of mine TJ uh he he called me one night and was pretty upset and he was just explaining how he had twin daughters and one of them passed away and he knew that I had lost my first daughter Mm -hmm. to similar circumstances so he reached out to me Knowing that I could relate and knowing that I was a musician and a, and a writer and stuff, he knew he, he, he just wanted to he was so empty inside that he felt like, you know, maybe a song would help him and his family. So I totally understood uh, what he meant by it. And I totally could relate. So I, I said, yeah. And I, I, you know, when I had to put myself back in the place that I was in when I lost my daughter, I kind of had to put myself back in that place to write. Yeah. Sophia, which kind of, uh, it was hard. Like I broke down a few times while writing it, just picturing what I was going through. And the whole thing's kind of sad. The whole story, nobody should have to lose a child, you know, no matter who it is. So it's just, it's a real emotional song. And uh, I'm just really proud of it. I'm, I'm so glad that I was able to like convey it the way it needed to be. And kind of, it's helped him, his family. It's, it's, uh, and it's helped a lot of other people that are actually reaching out and telling me that, you know, it's, they lost a child and it's literally helping them get through it. And that is, I mean, like I said before, that is the ultimate reason I'm even doing this because music saved my life. So if I could yeah. save one person by music, then I'm, I did it. You know, I did what I was supposed to do. Yeah, absolutely. And for some of your fans who might be going through tough times, as you once did what message do you hope they take away from your music or what message would you want to share with them just now even that there's always hope and when you think it's the end it's really not there's just you know i used to do the same thing i would take a negative situation 
and I would play it out in my mind and make it even worse than it actually was. Mm. And, um, and even if it is really, really bad, I mean, you know, you can get through it. Like there's always a way to get through it. You just have to just be strong, you know, and I know it's easier said than done, but if you just stay strong and try to get good people around you, people that actually care about you and care about your well being. Um, and you know, like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like I meditate, you know, I watch a lot of YouTube stuff, a lot of positivity stuff, like when I'm feeling down and I'm, I'm human, we're all human. I'm still human. I still go through stuff. I'm not as bad as I once was, but I'm not the person I'd like to be either. So, you know, every day is a struggle, but you just got to keep your head up and realize that like, there's people that out here that actually do care about other people. And, uh, you know, don't feel afraid or anything to reach out either. Like if you're depressed, don't feel like you're bothering other people with your problems. We all have the same problems and we just need, we need, all need to realize that and just kind of come together for each other in this world. There'd be less suicides and less, uh, less things like that that just don't even need to happen. Yeah, absolutely. And how do you see your role in inspiring and supporting others through your creative work? I think it's bigger than me, mm. you know? I, b I believe there is a higher power, and I think I was put here by that how, hi, higher power. I think, um, you know, it is, it's bigger than me. It's about what I can do for others, you know? I, I was selfish for, <laughs> I've been, I was selfish for a long time, so I'm yeah. past all that. I'm past all that, you know? I don't need everything. I want to be comfortable, but I don't need everything. But, like, my goal is to kind of serve others because <clears throat> there's just, this world's insane right now. And uh, a lot of people need positivity, whether it's through movies, whether it's just, you know, no matter what, you know, and, and I just happen to be able to do it through music. Um, and I just I just want to be able to reach people on another level and just let them know, like, you know, it's all right. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, if anybody gives a shit, I give a shit, you know? Yeah. Or, or, or if nobody, if you think nobody does, I do or whatever, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Now. How do you think your latest single, Sophia, reflects your personal and artistic journey? I think it's one of the best songs I've done to date. Um, mm -hmm. I used to rap more than I would sing because I was too worried about my image and I wasn't too confident with my singing. I knew I was good and stuff, but I, I didn't I didn't I, I didn't push myself, you know, in that aspect. So I'm glad that I've switched over. Um, Jelly Roll, actually, him going from rap to singing kind of gave me the confidence to be like, you know what, yeah, just tat it up, dude, and just do whatever he wants. Then nothing's, I'm not in a box, you know, there's nothing controlling me. There's no genre that's yeah. controlling me or nothing. So I'm like, hey, let's try this, you know. And then now that I'm singing, I must say, I feel like it's way more powerful. I'm reaching way more people on a way deeper level than I was before. And I'm able to actually say what I've been trying to say my whole life. And, and that means everything to me. You know what I mean? Like, I'm actually, do you know what it's like for like decades just making music, but it's, you know, it's not what you really want to say or what you need to say. And then you finally break through when you get a little older and realize that who gives a who, who cares about what other people think, just make what you think is going to inspire people and, and help them. And then when I switch that over, I'll never stop. Like I'll, I'll do rap and stuff still, but I love, I love, love, love reaching people on a, on another level and just, and I can feel it, you know, like when I do shows and stuff, it's just so different than my rap stuff. It's just, it's incredible. I'm, I love it. Yeah, absolutely. And you've had the opportunity to collaborate with other artists and mingle with celebrities. So how have these experiences influenced your artistry? I mean, not uh, not really at all, to be honest. Mm. Uh, it's funny, too. You think like you're going to meet like people that you looked up to and stuff, and then nine times out of ten they're not even the person you expected anyway so you you like put him on a pedestal and you meet him and you're like oh man that guy was kind of a dink or <laughs> whatever you know you know it's like uh it's, it's never what you expect you know it's almost like the thought of it's better than the actual thing but um but i think it's cool you know um it's cool that i was able to get to a place musically that i i could even be around those people you know not everybody gets to kind of hang out with you know quote unquote famous people so it's 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 cool but at the same time it didn't really you know affect me in any way it, maybe it progressed me to get on other shows with other well-known artists and stuff but it didn't change me and, and what i'm doing yeah absolutely and are there any particular 
artists that you've who've had a significant impact on your creative journey yeah i mean i listen a little bit of everything Mm. so it's like i go way back i I mean i love oldies um i spent a lot of time with my grandfather when i was growing up and stuff and he was born in 36 so he was you know he still likes that old doo-wop type of stuff and i just grew up with it so i love anything from that era to like even now you know my 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 playlist is insane. It's all over the place. Classical, country, metal, rock, rap. I mean, I'm all over the place. Blues. I just like a, a little bit of everything. Um, but like, as far as writers, like 80s, a lot of 80s writers I like too. Like, people are going to be like, what the hell? But like, Richard Marks is one of the greatest writers ever. Mm. Um, you know, uh, who else? Uh, uh, Peter Cetera. Peter Cetera, I think his name is. Yeah. Uh, he's a great writer too. And these guys write like love ballads and stuff. But like, like I said, I'm trying to reach people, you know, people can act hard all they want, but love is is really what's going to change stuff. So you got to be able to reach people on another level. But the, a lot of older singer songwriters and I like I love the 80s, you know, this is just like it was a good era. But then I like 90s, too. Um, so, like I said, a little bit of old, new, everything in between, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Well, looking ahead, what are your goals and aspirations for the future, both in your personal life and your career? I hope to keep progressing as like as a human being <laughs> first, yeah. and then, and then I, I would like you know to keep progressing in every other aspect. You know, I wanna I wanna take what I'm doing now and kind of just scale it up and try to do this full time and really try to like really try to like make a difference. You know, really try to change some stuff in this world. I got kids, and uh, you know they're gonna be growing up in this world, so you know that's really important to me to kind of be a part of some type of change that might affect them and I mean and my grandkids and you know the future in general you know hopefully just be more positive and, yeah I guess I'd say that yeah. yeah and what are you working on at the moment are there any particular songs or films that are coming up yeah so I just uh just filmed uh independent film this past weekend with uh, a couple of my buddies chet and sam they actually uh direct and produce all my music videos and they do independent films um and i just got on one called uh, adopted at 28 and it's like an action comedy and i play go figure a uh, guy in the cartel like one of the cartel leaders <laughs> and uh it's about this these two guys kind of one's a little normal one's kind of a real airhead and they end up hitting this kid crossing the road and then he ends up being the son of me who was in the cartel so we kidnap these guys and it's a whole crazy extravaganza uh but they're going to be pitching it to all the uh independent film festivals so uh it's really good quality these guys know what they're doing uh so the quality is good and the acting's really good so i think i think it has a really good chance of getting accepted and if it does we'll probably get some sponsors and you know go out there and have the premiere and do the whole thing the whole experience you know it's pretty cool um yeah yeah good stuff and then um my music I'm writing a song right now. I'm almost finished with it, but it's almost uh, it's it's like some Breaking Benjamin, Three Days Grace type of uh, stuff. So it's a little heavier than the stuff I've been doing, but it's on along the same vibes of me singing um, and a little bit of rap. It's pretty cool. It's definitely outside of the box. I think a lot of people are gonna like it. Um, I love it. I can't wait to do it live. It's people are gonna get jacked up. I know it. Yeah. Well, where are we able to find all the music that you've released so far? So I'm on all major platforms right now, um, and I'm also on YouTube. Um, I'm going to try to really start pushing pushing these videos. I got like four of my new singles that I need music videos for, so we're going to start working on that. Um, and then you can, uh, my YouTube, just go on Jigs, J-I-G-G-Z-Z, or you can just go on Google, J-I-G-G-Z-Z, and I'll pop right up. And you can go to my Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all that. Uh, my Instagram is Jigs underscore fit with focus. I also run like an on online uh, fitness program and i help people get fit and i uh, get their mindset kind of in the right spot to like uh be positive and stuff like that so Excellent. but that also has my music on it as well um so yeah just google me baby <laughs> yeah excellent well many thanks for talking to us today it's been great having you on the show thanks i really really appreciate it man and uh let's do it again